Hello guys, welcome to the Tara Empress channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today's video for your zodiac sign is going to be very, very different. I'm going to start by talking about the 2022 yearly tarot card readings for all the zodiac signs. Some of you may have already watched those videos, right? Those videos were filmed approximately two weeks ago and you know, when I was filming these videos and uploading them, I felt as if some of those messages were a little bit off. Some of those messages made no sense at all, right? And I am a little bit of a perfectionist. And uh, when things don't make sense, I mean, I feel as if it's not hitting the mark where I want it to, I delete those videos, right? I always want to make sure that things are done uh, properly and uh, coherently. But sometimes, you know, there are other things that are at work that um, we are all not quite aware of. Now, if you are an astrologer or someone that keeps up with astrology, you will have known that the um, solar eclipse in Sagittarius, which happened on the 4th of December 2021, was going to occur and it was going to have an effect upon certain zodiac signs. In fact, it's going to affect everybody, but I feel like it's going to be affecting people on a different degree, right? So when the solar eclipse was actually happening, I couldn't sleep that whole night. I felt as if there was this shift happening. And um, since I don't follow astrology, I just felt as if, you know, uh, there's uh, something going on and I had to sort of uh, do my research that entire night, not able to sleep, sort of just thinking, getting all these kind of um, downloads from the universe. And thinking back about the 2022 videos uh, for the yearly reads, it all started to make sense. It all started to come together in a way in which I now understand that those messages um, do in fact uh, resonate very heavily and they do have uh, an important sort of, um, you know, uh, place in your zodiac sign, right? I hope that makes sense. So I feel like in terms of this video, what I'm going to be doing is for most of the zodiac signs, your yearly 2022 readings are already pre-filmed. You may have watched it. You may have already seen it. And uh, it's only for Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. I'm going to have to redo it because I didn't back those up. So, um, yeah, so they're going to get redone. But the other messages, they're going to be in comparison with astrology and tarot. Along with Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and all the zodiac signs, I'm going to be looking and comparing them too. And you're going to also be doing the same as you watch this video. I feel like you're going to get added information. And um, if anything, this proves one thing. One should pay attention to astrology along with tarot, as well as listen to your intuition more. You know, sometimes you can be doing this kind of work for the longest time and you just want to zone out and focus on the tarot and you just... Um, want to leave astrology out and it's not always recommended to follow it that way right so another important announcement uh, when it comes to uh, the normal tarot card readings on the channel I am going to be reverting back to um, you know the videos from Monday to Thursday and there will be bonus videos etc and it's going to be following the zodiac system I feel like whenever there's a big change happening in the astrological world I'm very sensitive to it and some of you may have picked up in your own personal experiences that you were feeling a little bit antsy, a little bit anxious. You wanted change. You wanted to do things differently. And there is going to be some changes coming in. I did get some intuitive downloads from the universe, and I feel like I need to listen to them because, um, you know, along with everything that has happened, many of us have spent, um, you know, a majority of the last two years um, you know, um, living a very restricted life, a life where you can't really go out and do whatever you want. And I feel like it makes me want to punch the wall sometimes because I was already very reclusive as a person. I mean, you're forced to stay inside. It's not as nice as you would, uh, you know, think it would be. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you uh, gain a lot of information from it and uh, pay attention to the changes that are coming uh, to this channel. They are going to be very exciting and I'm definitely, um, you know, excited for the next six months and 2022 and you should be as well. Now, if I haven't already mentioned, people that have, you know, planets in Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces and Gemini, you can have it in your ascendant, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, 
this eclipse is going to be massive for you. So if you don't already know about, you know, where those placements are in your birth chart, how it's going to be impacting you, make sure to look up, um, you know, your birth chart. If you just do a Google search, you enter in your birth information and the necessary uh, things that you need to mention there. And, um, you know, watch the videos in accordance with what is showing up um, for you. Right. So it's uh, definitely going to give you a greater insight. Okay, I'm very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and take care. Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your reading and this reading is going to comprise of two parts. The first part is going to be looking at um, you know how the Sagittarius solar eclipse is going to affect your zodiac sign in the first six months of 2022. The second half is going to focus on your yearly tarot card reading for 2022. Right, I hope you guys are excited. Let's begin. So I feel like um, in the first six months of 2022, a lot of you are going to be experiencing change. Uh, there's certain things that, um, you know, you were dealing with in uh, the last two years and you're not going to be dealing with those things anymore. It feels like your voice was taken away or you didn't have an opportunity to be who you truly are. It feels as if you were deprived of your own identity. I'm getting the impression yeah, that in this um, you know, as a result of this uh, solar eclipse in Sagittarius, there's a sense of you, um, you know, letting go of limitations, restrictions, setbacks, and lifting the veil on your potential. So as you do this, there's going to be a lot of doors that are going to uh, open up for you. And I feel like this is going to be a very good time for you to accept what is and accept what can be, right? So this means uh, not necessarily holding on to grudges, not uh, pointing your finger at any specific person. If you've uh, been wounded by certain circumstances or hurt by certain circumstances, there's a wonderful opportunity here for you to do healing, right? I feel like this healing is going to involve some element of spirituality and you looking within and uh, uh, moving forward, right? You can take cognizance of everything that you've been through, but it doesn't get to define you. I feel like you get to define yourself. Now, the energies are also indicating here that you are, you know, in the process of having to um, sort of, you know, gather your bearings. I feel like for a lot of you, it's been full steam ahead. You've been uh, working at a pace that is uh, inhuman, you know, almost like Superman or Superwoman. And uh, there's a need for you to um, sort of have this time to reflect and to, uh, you know, enjoy life. I feel like there's this energy which is indicating the fact that your life is not going to be the same. You're going to be looking at the world in a different perspective. All those past restrictions, limitations, setbacks that were defining you in the last two years or the last 10 years for some of you, those are going to fall away and you're going to be mesmerized by the new you, your new life, uh, this new world. Everything is going to be so fresh. It feels like that sort of energy. It feels like, um, you know, like rebirth, like a baby that is um, coming to life again and, and going through this this journey of uh, seeing the world in this beautiful new way. So I do feel like uh, there's going to be um, something amazing happening for you guys. I feel like um, you're going to want to speak more about your, you know, your well-being. You're going to have value in that. You're going to care about uh, self-care. You know, it's not about you saying to yourself, oh, you have to keep going at a certain pace. You have to keep doing, doing, doing and uh, not enough time to recharge, not enough time to collect yourself, to rebalance yourself, to uh, gather your bearings in a given situation. So I feel like Spirit wants you to uh, be aware of the fact that uh, you're going through a massive shift. You know, even though this um, solar eclipse in Sagittarius is going to have a big sort of positive impact on uh, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, this solar eclipse is also going to have a positive impact for you. I can feel it from the energy. So it's not something that you should ignore. It's something you should take into consideration. You don't want to do things in the old way anymore. You want to do things in a new way. And so even if you have Capricorn in your, um, you know, the the house for work, then uh, in, in the sense of the, the astrological, you know, the first house, second house, etc., it's a positive indication of the fact that um, there's going to be a massive shift occurring there and uh, you're definitely going to get more recognition as a result of you, um, you know, 
having more value for yourself. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. Make sure to uh, subscribe, hit the like button. If you would like a personal reading, you can get it at thetariempress.com. And if you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. Enjoy the second half of your video. Have a wonderful day and take care. Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your bonus tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on the yearly energies of 2022 for your zodiac sign. In this reading I'm going to be looking at what's coming towards you in 2022, what do you need to prepare for, what does spirit want you to know, what are three predictions for your zodiac sign and one card from the Marcus Aurelius deck towards the end. So that's going to be for advice. So let's begin. What's coming towards you, Capricorn, in 2022? Okay, so kind of uh, lost myself there. I think I was daydreaming. So let's see what's coming towards you. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you, there's an energy of leaving behind something, something that been, has been bringing a lot of drama into your life, right? I feel like you're moving away from drama, you're moving away from energies that have been sort of uh, keeping you distracted. This doesn't seem to be a specific situation playing out in your life. This could be a colleague, this could be a family member, this could literally be anyone, right? So don't uh, tie it up into your love life. I feel like there's an energy uh, of which there's something that has made you feel upset. There's someone that has sort of um, disappointed you in a way. I feel like you thought more of this individual. You wanted to believe in this person. You wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. You wanted to feel as if the two of you were on the same wavelength. But it feels as if the two of you have very different beliefs about something. So I feel like there's a disagreement that was weighing heavily on your mind. And I feel like you felt a sense of guilt for a certain person or a certain situation. Now, this person was trying to undermine you. It doesn't feel romantic in nature, I can tell you that. This feels like the type of energy where even if you were romantically involved with this person, uh, this individual might have just been looking for uh, things to cause haywire. It feels like that. But for 60% of you, I don't feel like this is a romantic situation. I feel like strongly this is a situation of a person around you, either envious of you, jealous of you, or just not fully supporting you. This is definitely an individual that was in your sphere of work or in your social circle. Could be in your family circle as well. This could be somebody that married into your family. This could be somebody that uh, you were forced to get along with. This is somebody who entered your life rather abruptly. And I feel like this individual in the beginning put you on a pedestal. I feel like this individual idolized you and, you know, thought such uh, great things about you. But there's something about this individual's personality that was sort of eating away at who you are as an individual, right? I feel like your energy is coming off as being someone that is hardworking, someone that is resilient, someone that is uh, very thoughtful and mindful of how... Uh, you, you know, your presence has an impact upon them. So you're very considerate, very diplomatic, very much uh, thinking about the other person. So this is very interesting because I feel like the individual you're dealing with is a complete opposite to you, the polar opposite of you. This person came into your life um, either as a fan or somebody that was uh, definitely not on your league, not on your level, and tried to be, tried very hard to be. There was a lot of comparisons here. Whether you were aware of it or not, they might have been comparing themselves to you or they might have been comparing uh, the things you do versus the things they do and they were always trying to be better than you. But I don't feel like this individual measured up. I feel like they fell quite short of the mark. 
in very many ways. There's an element of dysfunctionality coming across from this individual. I hope this is resonating, but for, for some of you, this might just be a narrative that is going on for some Capricorns in certain deacons, right? It doesn't have to be for all of you. But there's definitely that energy of envy. There's definitely this energy of you feeling like it was your fault that things went in a certain way when it wasn't. And I feel like you're starting to realize that, that that person might have just been wired in a messed up way, but you were trying to fix things and you were trying to bring things together. You were definitely going above and beyond, but something inside of your gut knew something wasn't wrong. Something wasn't right about this person. It just feels like it. You just knew something was wrong with this person. The way they entered your life, the way they um, try so hard, it feels like that. It feels like a very bizarre type of energy, but... Again, you never know what's going to come up in this readings. So let's see what you need to prepare for. This person that entered your life is quite dysfunctional. Quite dysfunctional. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic because they pick up a lot of envy. I pick up a lot of drama from this person. I feel like Spirit is indicating that there's going to be a very important conversation and I feel like it's going to be a quick conversation. You're either going to stand your ground or stand up for yourself. I feel like this individual is constantly trying to undermine you. I'm just getting those kind of vibes like uh, they just wanted to fight for the sake of having attention. They just wanted to cause problems for the sake of having eyes on them. This was the only thing they had they could do to get that sort of attention. This was the only thing they could, um, you know, throw into a situation, throw into a mix of a situation. And uh, that made you feel very upset. It made you feel as if you were the problem when this person was actually the problem. And I feel like there could be a conversation that you're going to have. It might be an important conversation. It could be a very quick one. Uh, this person might try to sabotage you or undermine you in 2022, but I feel like you might put your foot down and stand up to them. But it's going to be very, um, very brief and to the point. And I feel like you'll cut them down and shut them out. What does Spirit want you to know? Very unusual message for you guys, of course. There's uh, something in your world that you need to realize and understand. There's something that you've grown deeply attached to. It could be a certain set of beliefs, a certain set of ideas of how the world works. And I feel like if you don't have all your facts, if you don't have all your figures in place, you know, in check, there's a sense of being disappointed by something, right? And this is on you. This is this is your responsibility to know what you need to know in a specific situation, to not bury your head in the sand and to make sure you have it uh, sorted and figured out. So if your gut or your instinct is telling you something is not on you or you need to do more research, you really do, right? Don't rely on institutions where you're making investments or you are placing your blind faith in people, you know, people in positions of power. Just because a certain person of status says, oh, this sort of investment is going to do very well. It doesn't mean that you should follow through with that. You know, it doesn't mean that you should, you know, put all your faith and trust in it. You really have to be very careful in terms of what you hear, what you listen to, what you pay attention to in 2022. Because I feel like, um, you know, certain investments or certain things that you do, they might not be, if you don't have the right advice, it might not be good for you, right, in the long term. Just a warning, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen for all of you. It just means that for th those of you that are um, getting these intuitive messages from spirit or from source and you're paying no attention to it and ignoring it when you're, you're feeling as if you're being punched in the stomach, you know, you're getting those type of sensations or you feel like, oh, something just doesn't feel right. You don't know what's going on. You're getting headaches or maybe... Um, Certain things are propping up, obstacles, challenges. Those are telltale signs that you need to pay attention to that. You know, you need to, to really look at these things and, and take them as signs. For me personally, if I'm in a set of circumstances where uh, there's certain things happening, 
and it's beyond my control, I don't try to fight it because at the end of the day, there's something there that is trying to keep you safe or trying to keep you protected, right? And and you don't see it often, but after the fact, you might realize, okay, God just saved you from something or God just, ha- you know, try to protect you from something. So you really need to pay attention, Capricorn, to the messages that you receive in 2022. It's incredibly important. And I feel like if you have faith in whatever beliefs or religion that you have, you know, and you pray to God, definitely you're going to have that sort of uh, guidance presents it, presenting itself to you when needed, right? I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's see. Three predictions for your zodiac sign, Capricorn. But all in all, what I do see is that you're going to be um, doing very well, financially speaking, right? There is going to be a lot of um flow that is happening for your highest order i do get the impression that there's going to be a lot of abundance but it doesn't mean you have to squander you know your abundance or things just because someone is giving you uh, some advice to invest your invest there or some big shot is saying this is going to be the hot stock of 2022 you know so i feel like pay attention Yeah, I feel like you're going to be walking away from anything that stresses you out or makes you feel unhappy. I feel like you're going to be breaking out of that energy where you just uh, don't deal with those things anymore. There's going to be a coldness about you. It almost feels queenly, you know, or kingly. It feels like that sort of energy where you're stepping onto your throne in this very cold way and you're looking at all the people that, you know, you thought you could trust. It's just a handful or the people that try to admonish you or uh, step on your toes and you have this disdain in your look. It seems rather cold, but I do feel like there's this energy of you saying, I belong on this throne, I'm worthy of this throne, and I'm taking this throne. You know, it feels like that sort of energy is coming across very heavily for some of you. So very unique, unusual energies. Can't really tell why they come out the way they do, but I feel like, yeah, you're in charge. Let's get one card from the Marcus Aurelius deck. So I definitely do get the impression here that you're not going to be blindly taking advice. You know, they say advice in this world is as cheap as the salt that is available on this earth. And people often think free advice is wonderful advice, but free advice you can get on the street corner. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the right advice for you. You know, at the end of the day, if you are consulting with a person who is, let's say, for example, an accountant or somebody that is a financial investor, whatever it could be, you know, get a second opinion. Do your research at the end of the day. If you have an opportunity to invest in a certain business and, you know, you're getting all these glossed over details or maybe it's this person that recommends you to go and speak to a certain person might not be the right person for you. It might be in your best interest to figure things out on your own or to go and find the right person that you feel is correct for the job that is needed. So keep that in mind. So the card that I have for you from the Marcus Aurelius deck is, there are times when even to live is an act of bravery. So a lot of bravery, a lot of courage, you know, There's a lot of power surrounding you in 2022 and I feel like stepping into that power is definitely going to uh, bring a lot of, uh, you know, envy from some individuals, maybe just one individual or a small handful of them. But I feel like you're in that position where you are because you've worked towards it and you've earned it and nobody can take it away from you, no matter what they think of you. They might just think you're a pretty face or a good looking fella, but you know what? You work for what you have and you don't have to feel embarrassed for what you have acquired in this world, you know? So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. I hope it has provided you with clarity and peace of mind. Have a wonderful day and take care.